Hi YouTube, I hope everybody's having a great day. I'm back again with another product unboxing and review video. This time it's the JVCE my, uh, headphones. The model number is HAS31M. The M stands for the microphone version, so this has a built-in microphone. Um, but I believe uh, JVC also sends, sells a version of this product, which is also uh, supporting Bluetooth. Uh, so if that's what you're looking for, they do have that for a little bit more money and that ends with a model uh, number uh, with B uh, indicating it's Bluetooth. Um, so this is a corded version, obviously, um, and it's um, in the US market, you know, this sells for about $20, and I think we bought it a couple of months ago at that price point. So not a very expensive uh, device, uh, but if you are going to use it for, for kids, which is really what um, we are gonna be using it for, um, I think uh, at this price point, considering what this box packs in, um, it's good value for money. Um, on here, on the box, uh, it also states that it has a swivel design, uh, so it's easy to kind of tuck into their, their bag and, and stuff, so it makes it a bit easy to carry around. Uh, it has a powerful spa sound, 30 mm driver, um, built-in remote and microphone. We talked about that, swivel design, and then the tangle-less single-sided cable. This is also pretty important, um, you know, if you're going to be using it for with, with kids and stuff, uh, it makes it a bit easier that you have a tangle-less cord uh, or a cable, uh, because if it gets all jumbled up, it can get messy and kids have a tendency to, to at that point, you know, start uh, struggling and breaking the device itself. So tangle-less is definitely the way to go. Uh, comfortable ear pad, these are over-the-ear headphones uh, that makes it easier for kids to, to use it. Um, and then of course they are, they are going to be to be padded and that makes it a bit more comfortable. I'm not entirely sure, I'll try them on and see how I feel about them, but um, for kids, um, you know, with these kind of designs, because they are adjustable, I think they're gonna be pretty comfortable. Um, you can uh, pause the video and read through the details. Um, so there is some information on how to use it. We'll take a look at that. And then at the bottom here, what kind of devices does it support? Uh, but I believe it supports uh, all mainstream devices. I don't think you're gonna have a problem with that. Um, but we'll take, at, uh, take a look at what's in here and then go from there. So let's uh, unbox this thing and see what this thing contains. Okay, so let's um, unbox this and uh, see what this contains. So, you know, they sell this, um, this headphone in two colors, I believe. The one that I picked up is in carbon black. Um, but I believe, at least in, here in the States, um, they sell this in a blue version, um, some kind of a blue shade, a darker blue shade, I believe. Um, and then there is this black version. Um, if you have come across other colors, uh, please do comment below and let us know. So in the box, uh, very, very simple. There's nothing much in there. I'm gonna keep this box aside here. And um, it comes in this plastic sleeve. And there is this um, little instruction page. Um, so it's very simple. It's very minimalistic, I, you know, for 20 bucks, I don't expect a whole lot here, um, but the packaging is very, very, I would even say flimsy, you know, uh, this, this plastic case and um, uh, this box, which is not even a hard box. So uh, very, very, I would say cheap um, packaging overall. Um, but obviously it's the product that we are after and see what uh, but they are worth for 20 bucks. So then here are the instructions. You can again, pause the video and read through it if you if you care for it. But uh, just going through the highlights here, um, it talks about you know how to protect these headphones. And then on here, there is some instructions on usage. So I'm gonna put this aside uh, and uh, take a look at what's actually in the in the unit itself. So I believe I'll have to take it out this way. There is this little plastic tape or something that's holding it back. Let's uh, cut that out and I'll take these things out of this packaging. I'm gonna put this aside and uh, here are the headphones themselves. And I can see why they said these are tangleless. Uh, yeah, they are kind of a rubbery feel. Yeah, they're not gonna tangle very easily. One thing that um, jumps out immediately is the size of the cup. They are fa fairly big cups. I wouldn't say very large, um, 
but um, yeah, they, sh they should be very comfortable, you know, not poking into any one side of the ear. Uh, the pad itself, um, yeah, it seems very well padded. I wouldn't uh, have any problems with the with the pad itself. Obviously, this is not leather or anything. I think this is uh, some kind of a a, a faux leather uh, of some kind. Um, I don't know how well they're gonna hold up over time, but uh, so far they look pretty pretty good to me. Um, obviously, it's all plastic, uh, but the look and feel of the product itself isn't terrible. Um, there's not a whole lot in on here on the on the on the left side. Uh, there is actually no control whatsoever, and uh, on this side, uh, there is this button, uh, which I think uh, basically is the only control you really have. And I believe this little hole is the microphone, so where that's where it's going to pick up, you know, anything you speak. Um, but I'm not entirely sure, but I I believe that is where. Yeah, that hole seems to be where the microphone is. Uh, this is adjustable, uh, so you can extend it. And, um, you know, so depending on a child's head or your own head, if you intend to use it for your own purposes. Um, there is no padding on, on here itself. Um, in some of the nicer headphones, uh, there is obviously padding on the, on the top of this as well. Um, so something to be aware of. The only padding that you really get is on the headphones themselves. Um, and uh, yeah, as far as the, the cord is concerned, obviously you have the, the input um, and the, the cord itself, you know, seems a pretty good quality. Um, just some high level features about the product. Uh, lightweight, I think for a child, they are going to work well. Um, but these kind of headphones, typically, if you are someone who wears glasses, um, because they tend to have, you know, a fixed uh, amount of pressure that goes on your head, and if you are an adult, the chances are that they are going to, um, you know, actually press against your ears uh, to, to kind of, you know, hold them in place. But if you wear glasses, at least in my experience, because I do wear glasses, uh, these kind of headphones tend to start hurting after let's say an hour's use or so um because you you know the the glasses that you're wearing that's uh, right in between your ears uh, they tend to get uh, pushed and uh, they can start hurting so if you intend to use this for you know for for uh, taking longer calls or listening to music you know over hours and you wear glasses i would not uh, recommend that you wear uh, these kind of headphones um you know you know they tend to start uh, hurting you. Uh, that's just my experience with these kind of headphones. But for kids, I think they will be great, um, you know, considering the size of their head and everything. Um, so that's um, that's one thing I wanted to to talk about as far as uh, the microphone is concerned. I already said that's, that's great. Um, yeah, there's nothing much to add about on here. Let me just quickly try them on and uh, see what I think about their performance. Okay, so I actually tried them out uh, just now. Um, I placed a couple of calls using this. Uh, people who took my calls, obviously I'm in a in a fairly quiet environment right now, um, but they had absolutely no clue that I was using these. Um, they, you know, when I asked them at the end of the phone conversation, um, they basically said, if you hadn't told us, we wouldn't have guessed that you were not speaking directly into your phone. So obviously the microphone works great. Um, but again, I don't know about its noise canceling capabilities uh, a lot. The, the the box doesn't say too much about uh, noise canceling. Uh, but if you're in a quietish environment, I don't think you're going to have any problems. As far as uh, sound reproduction is concerned, um, it's definitely pretty good. But I would not um, compare them to um, anything a bit higher end. You know, I have a Bose uh, headphones as well, which I use for my travel purposes and, and uh, you know, occasionally around the house. Um, they are definitely no comparison with those headphones. But I, I think um, for regular casual, you know, making a call, uh, maybe even watching a, a movie, especially for kids, I think they're great. Uh, the sound production is not bad. Uh, I'm, I wouldn't compare them to like a $200, $300 uh, headphone, but for 20 bucks, I think what they produce is very good. I, I, I wouldn't uh, complain uh, too much if I had to use them on occasion. 
And like I said, if it's primarily meant for kids, I think they're great. Um, on As far as the fit is concerned, they are definitely a bit tight. Um, you know, like I said, uh, I do uh, wear glasses. Uh, it can be a bit uncomfortable over time, uh, but for even 20, 30 minutes or 40 minutes, I think they are, they'll be fine. But after that, I think they probably gonna be a bit uncomfortable. Uh, but again, uh, this is from an adult's perspective for children, I think they're going to be perfect because, you know, when there's a snug fit on the ears uh, with these uh, padded, uh, you know, uh, things on, on the ears, uh, they can actually create a pretty good um, sound uh, cushion. And so, you know, the, the, the sound around, like if you're in a moving car or vehicle, uh, those kind of sounds are not going to creep in too much. And so I think they're going to work great in those kind of applications. So all in all, I think these, these are these are good uh, headphones for 20 bucks from JVC. Uh, for kids, I would absolutely recommend them. I think they will work good uh, for normal kids' gamings and stuff to also. Um, but for adults, I would not recommend these. I think you're better off uh, buying something a little bit more substantial than this, uh, particularly if you're going to be using them for, for hours together. Uh, I would not recommend in those kind of applications. But if you're looking for something fairly cheap that your kids are gonna enjoy, I think you can't go wrong with these. Uh, they're gonna love it. Um, you know, so that's the video. Uh, if you like the content, please um, like and share, and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you, bye-bye.